Now, if you're not yet a follower of Jesus, just marinate. But for those of you who are followers of Christ, lock in. Does your heart break for the fact that 94% of churches in America are not growing? Let me say that again. 94% of churches in these United States of America are not growing. They are declining. Don't think that what's happening here is normal. It is not. That breaks my heart as a pastor. Because you know what that means? If churches are not growing and reaching lost people, that means they stay lost. That means a Christless eternity. That means a Christless now. And you know what that means? More divorces. You know what that means? More addictions. You know what that means? More corruption on Wall Street. You know what that means? A lot of busted and broken and hurting people. Case in point, um, a teenager here at Transformation Church tweeted, um, Ebola comes to America and now we're acting like we're worried. We wasn't worried not too long ago, but we worried now, huh? What happened? When it was over there, we, 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 wasn't, we wasn't worried about it. When that's over here, we're we a little bit worried about it. Do you, do you not think that when nearly 4,000 West Africans died, it that didn't break God's heart? You think God's like, oh, Americans, you're my favorite. Does what break God's heart break your heart? That's one of the signs of discipleship, people, is your heart rolls and unfolds into the mystery of God's love and goes, boy, that breaks my heart right there because I know it breaks God's 